Rocky Mountain National Park, a refuge for those suffering from shoulder pain induced by excessive time behind a computer screen, and home to a variety of animals, both large and small. The Glacier Bay Campground was her home for several chilly summer nights, and it provided mountain views every morning, just feet outside our camper door. Rocky offers a variety of trails and scenic drives. All right. The old Fall River Road is a historic one-way path for automobiles that crosses the mountain range from east to west. A high clearance vehicle is not required, but an experienced hand on the steering wheel is. This is not the place to teach Driver's Ed 101. Be sure to stop from time to time as you make your way west. This route is chock full of hidden streams and stunning views. Old Fall River Road opened in 1920. It is the first auto route that offers access to Rocky Mountain National Park's high country. The National Park Service refers to this road as a motor nature trail. It's primarily gravel and it's one way. It has lots of switchbacks and you take it at a slower pace. On the western end of Old Fall River Road is Alpine Visitor Center. On this day, we saw this herd of elk sitting in the valley right below the visitor center. After finishing up on Old Fall River Road, we turned left onto the highest paved road in the nation, Trail Ridge Road. part of the road right here. I wish I could have this kind of view at lunch break every day. The Hidden Valley area seems to be just that, hidden. It is a large picnic area with a ranger station and a wonderful walk along a stream. We finished out our day of scenic drives by stretching our legs on a hike to Sprague Lake from our campground in Glacier Basin. From 1910 to 1940, Abner Sprague ran a lodge on the banks of Sprague Lake where he invited his guests to relax and explore.
When trying to truly learn about a place, you have to get out in it. On our hikes in parks, we try not to just walk through the trail. We try to feel it and experience all this trail has to offer. Our hikes and parks are not meant to conquer anything. They're meant to get us out in nature, help us relax, and get to know the park just a little bit better. After our hike, we continued on to Moraine Park for exploration and elk watching. Elk are plentiful in Rocky Mountain National Park. If you're looking to see herds of them, you can look a lot of places, but Moraine Park Meadows is one of the best places that you'll most certainly find them. Having found the elk in Moraine Park, we decided to head back to our campground at Glacier Basin. We realized then that we didn't have to go anywhere. This guy was having his dinner right outside our campground. Bear Lake is easily accessible, beautiful, and very busy. To explore this destination with the best light and the least people, we arrived in the parking lot before sunrise. We are linking to a separate video dedicated to Bear Lake in the description of this one if you want to experience more of this hike. We knew that this was our last full day in the Rocky Mountains. After our morning walk, we decided to do the things that we wanted to do the most. Matt wanted to drive Old Fall River Road again, and I wanted to see Chasm Falls.
One of the great things about Old Fall River Road is the feeling of being truly in the mountains. Trail Ridge Road is epic in every way, but it doesn't offer the same level of connection with the woods and streams that one can find here. This route provides an intimate wilderness experience typically reserved only for hikers. We got up to the Alpine Visitor Center very early. The store and cafe weren't open yet. So we traveled on our way. This time we turned right and headed down to Lake Irene. In the early 1900s, John and Sophia Hallsworth made their home in the Rocky Mountains. They used the Homestead Act of 1862. This 160 acres was close to the newly dedicated Rocky Mountain National Park. Throughout the 1920s, these German immigrants built upon their homestead. They built cabins, sheds, and a barn. The opening of Fall River Road brought more visitors to the area, increasing the tourism. The Holsworth family began to change their home into a dude ranch, which would become known as Holsworth Trout Lodge.
As with every vacation, it was time to pack up and go home, but not before one more park surprise. It would be an elk jam. When we visit our parks here in the United States, we try to experience them to the fullest for the time that we are there. We like to do things that are unique and fun and relaxing and things that anybody could do. Rocky Mountain National Park was just that for us. As with most of our park travels, we can't wait to get back to the park we just left. We hope this video gave you a few ideas of something you can do on your trip to Rocky Mountain National Park.